So we have finished our app and now we would like to deploy it on the SAP Business Technology Platform. Fortunately, it is very easy to do so and I will demonstrate the necessary steps. First, we select Launch at the top of the screen. Then we go to Distribute and open the build service. Next up, we have to configure a couple of settings for our web build. As you can see over here. Um, we choose a version and then we start the building process. The building process can take about 30 minutes, but this varies a lot depending on the size of your project. Um, so keep that in mind during the building process. After the process finishes, we receive a zip file containing the files of our project. And these are the files that we're going to need to deploy our app. Um, next up, we open uh, BTP, sign in and go to Business Application Studio. We start a new project and then we only have to do a couple of steps to deploy our project. Um, we upload our zip file containing the files of the app. Let's make sure that all the files are here. And they are, so that's nice. Um, next up, we have to sign in to Cloud Foundry and we can do that using a command. And now we only have to do one more thing. We need to add an empty file called static file. And this file is necessary to properly deploy our project. So we create that file, add it to the roots. And finally, we push the project to Cloud Foundry using the command CF push and then the name of our app. Um, this process can also take a couple of minutes uh, also depending on the size of the project. So I sped this up a little bit. Um, and once it has been pushed, we receive a URL that brings us to our deployed app. So I copy the URL in Chrome. And here we see our beautiful app. Um, we go to local and create a contact to check whether all the functionality works. So we input some random information here. Then I press save. Um, I'll go back to local for a bit to check whether everything works. So we go to public addresses. We wait a second and then we see that we were able to get the data from the OData service. So that also works. Well, so that was a little demonstration of our deployed app. As you can see, after the build finished, the whole deployment process only took a couple of minutes. So that went pretty smooth, even though there wasn't any explicit BTP support yet in AppGyver. I hope you enjoyed uh, this little demonstration. And if you have any questions for us, please let us know.